welcome 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 to the channel the money wise channel on this channel we like to talk about inspirational events and a lot of great money things <laughs> yeah just basically have a good time laugh try to learn something i know a lot of times you guys can't watch all the videos because you're working or whatever you got going on during these times so what i try to do is make the video for you and you can just put the headphones on and i can kind of tell you what happened give my reaction to the video and kind of break it down for you and then when you get a chance you can watch it for yourself <laughs> so um today we're going to be talking about an artist by the name of t pain i was um looking through some things and um i seen that t pain i did this interview on why he turned down nine hundred thousand for twenty thousand so that was what basically it was about it was t pain turns down a nine hundred thousand dollar record deal for twenty thousand dollars so you know as soon as you hear that you're like what who would give turn down nine hundred thousand dollars for twenty thousand <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense off the rip as soon as you hear it, your your brain is like nine hundred thousand twenty thousand you're missing some zeros here bro but um <laughs> i said let me listen and see what he had to say because i love interviews interviews like this that i don't know what's going to happen until i get into it i think those are the best like, i love just listening to them just walking me through it's like watching a movie and you don't know what's going to happen at the end that's what it's about if you already know what's going to happen that's boring you know so i said okay let me check it out so just to get some basic stuff here the artist's name is t-pain and his real name is like fahim Rashid namj or something like that or nahim not or namj uh, it's a Muslim name and um, he grew up in a mus Muslim family um, he's from Tallahassee Florida so they used to call him Tallahassee pain so they took the Tallahassee off overall just kept the T and they say okay T pain so that's so he's from Tallahassee Florida and his name is T pain and the T stands for Tallahassee so um, basically his dad was his manager you know like i said they're muslim and a close together family really uh rock together uh he's respectful of his father and he always did what his father asked him to do which is very important to the story so um great relationship they had um t Payne's career started before the big social network presence and big things of that of you being able to blow yourself up and distribute yourself through the internet is he's he's before that time you know i would say he he was doing what they call the hard way <laughs> you know he had to really deal with people hand-to-hand -hand combat as they say um where now you can use technology a little more to get things off or to get in front of people if that makes more sense so um see it was 2005 when his first album came out he signed to convict music which is akon's label so it was akon akon had a label called convict music slash interscope and um akon if you don't know is also a musical artist so that was very important to the story too so also it's important to know at this particular time t-pain is very poor not just regular like he's really really poor at this time like he's really going through it it's not a good time for him so during this time because i want to make sure we're clear on that so we understand this whole nine hundred thousand twenty thousand thing this is important he's very poor he's going through it's kind of it's kind of like when you hear the story about lebron he's getting offered millions of dollars but he's going back home to the projects i think that was what master p million dollars offered goes back <laughs> to the projects this is someone looking for a bigger situation because they know they have more to offer so you have to believe in yourself early so this is kind of the same story with t-pain so during this time he said he didn't even have any electric on you know he said he was running his actual makeshift studio off of a generator that's outside that it couldn't run all night because it made too much noise <laughs> and he would get in trouble by the police so they had to run it during the day work real hard try to record records because they have no electric in the house or lights 
I would say that's a person that really needs money at that point. Um, food was low, bills was not paid. Um, so we would agree that money was very important at this point in his life. He has love, he has his family, he has all that, but he doesn't have any money. You know, it's, he also said that with the deals that they had on the table, that they didn't even have gas. They was trying to put money together to get gas just to get to the airport, just to have the meeting. <laughs> so this is how bad it was but his talent was giving him a chance t-pain during this time was offered nine hundred thousand dollars from interscope records and he was also offered seven hundred thousand dollars from atlanta records this is six figures from both of these uh big corporations and this is a guy in the hood with no electric oil this is very deep so during this time, he's about to make a decision and clearly take the nine hundred thousand over the seven hundred thousand for his signing bonus, so he can move forward with his 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 single deal. And um, this is where Akon comes in. Akon comes in, sends his brother to him, which is his, his brother's name is Blue, and offers T Pain a deal with him. And this deal is twenty thousand dollars. Remember, he got a $900,000, $700,000, and T-Pain offers him a $20,000 deal. Now, what Akon says to him, you can go ahead and take the $900,000, but that's for a single deal, and that's it. But if you take this $20,000, I'll offer you a career. That's very important. Akon said you can take the $900,000, and that's a single, that's one song, that's a hit or miss, whatever it's going to be, you're done. But... If you take this 20000 and sign with my boutique label that is connected to the machine, which is Interscope, I will offer you a career because we would do a whole album on you. T-Pain thought about it. At this point, his father had got some money together and was running to the gas station to put gas in the car so they can go catch the plane to go get this 900000 from Interscope. He left him packing his clothes, talking to Blue, Akon's brother. And while he's packing, Blue says, it's up to you what you're doing. Are you going with your dad to see Interscope or are you going to come with me to Atlanta? You need to make a decision before your father gets back because we need to see what we're going to do. And you got to remember, T-Pain respected his father with his religion. And his, by being a Muslim, he's very respectful. Listen, you know, he didn't want to do anything to make his father mad at him. He had to make a hard decision. 900,000, 20,000. Disrespect my father, respect my father. And he thought about it and he said, I'm going to take the 20,000. And he snuck out the house and, let, and went against his father's wishes. Left with Blue, flew to Atlanta. T-Pay said he literally drove past his father driving back fast to the house after getting gas so they could make it to the airport on time. So he, he didn't even let him know. He just left. So this is very important. He, he literally saw his father so you know his heart was going through like oh my god i hope i ain't making the worst decision right now but he he went got the twenty thousand, dropped the album in 2005 and as i said the rest is history you know he came down he made the right decision for him and that's what it's about you know he started broke you know and now his net worth is 35 million dollars when i looked to see last time what it was uh being recorded as 35 million dollars so he was able to do that it would not to, to get out of his record deal because he wasn't locked up so it all worked out for him so the moral of the story you have to just trust yourself and do what's best for you it it get, went different you gotta but whatever you do you gotta stand on it and you gotta live life the way you need to do it that's a clear story of starting from the bottom but he made it to the top good for him and, and i'll just say this stay excited about life I will be dropping more videos to ins inspire you. Faith without works is dead. Keep your eyes out for the small things as you are doing the big things. Always keep your eyes out for the small things while you're doing the big things. Keep your mind clear. Pay attention to detail. Like and subscribe to the Money Wise channel for more wisdom in the future. And remember, the plans change, but the goals stay the same. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> yup. <laughs>